Okay, so I am going to touch on Jennifer Garth's um, uh, comment and uh, inquiry uh, that she put forward in uh, the previous video and sh uh, she goes on to explore the concept of her experience uh, with dating. And uh, again, I'm just going to do some summarizing here. Uh, she mentions the bad experience and frustrated by uh, well-meaning folks saying, just be yourself and trying to understand what that concept even means because uh, she mentions the difficulty that she had with the dating world and just being yourself actually didn't work because the conventions of society's idea of dating and an IATJ, as we've discussed before, tends to have a complete disconnect. So I personally do relate to this and uh, from my perspective, uh, there's the double whammy of not understanding the dance. I've spoken about that before, of uh, dating. And uh, what I found a huge barrier was the lack of literal dialogue. So I've spoken about, you know, use your words and um, that type of thing. So the frustration there is that you're speaking in double speak in a social or in a, in a new situation with someone who you don't know. So you're able to, you know, have a quick uh, assessment of that person and be able to draw off that. But at the same time, you're dancing to this superficial um, give and take of uh, conversation. And I've spoken about this before where there are tools in the toolkit that you can work on to hopefully make that situation get past the initial frustration on either side of making sense of things. Um, but for myself, what I found frustrating is that the lack of uh, directness or understanding caused me almost to have an increase in my need for control of the situation as opposed to being um, going with a flow, which I can do, the obscurity actually increases my need for control of an issue that or a situation that may or may not need any sort of control. So it actually puts more weight into a situation than actually it would be deemed necessary. So the I think that also for me made it uh, difficult if I was attracted to that person. Um, and I felt that there's something more that I want to explore, but I'm coming off of, uh, you know, the initial dates, which, yeah, usually are quite superficial. So the emotional piece of being not really comfortable with my emotions, feelings, or understanding the context or uh, what feelings really mean, that put on top of this control because of obscurity just increases the amount of tension and it caused anxiety rather than fun. It was just too much pressure that I would put on. And I think with INTJs in general, there might be that component where because we already think about 10,000 steps ahead, by no means are we thinking uh, long-term commitment. We're actually thinking more on the negative side or, or the, um, the the rollout of how this will impact uh, the larger scope of our lives. So it's not just this laid back type of meeting. There's always context involved, at least in my my um, past experiences. So it it's really tough. And worse is that say something happens where there is a rejection off of an initial meeting. So you have a date and that person just decides, you know, they're not interested or, you know, kind of blow you off. And uh, when you're coming from a place where other context isn't coming into, um, into place, the, that type of situation would be no big deal, you know, move on. However, if there is, you know, if the emotion side and making sense of things isn't quite built up yet in your own mental stack, it can be difficult a little bit more than normal because not that you don't have self-confidence, but it's 
it's speaking to, okay, they just judged me based on tools that I am not good at. I haven't been able to actually speak uh, and show my true self and not saying that I was hiding it, but because in superficial initial dates, you're not going into deep, dark, you know, substantive uh, con or subjects. You're going to stay high level. And a lot of times, like I throw that out there, that it's society's... Uh, way of dating that's what's socially expected so therefore you are being evaluated on um, a definition of yourself that you feel is not actually accurate and also with the emotion side and we've spoken about this before where we can come across as more standoffish or more cold I guess and at times and therefore there may be trying or reading off of that that um, that's who you are and because and if in the case of rejection because of that it actually I, I find that it can be a big knock to your building up of your emotional toolkit because they have basically in your in my mind back then um, they basically said what you know the little bit that you have to understand emotionally and uh, manage that they've actually said no that's not that's not good and that can be very debilitating if this that stack isn't fully developed internally um, so one thing that I noticed is that as you get older and you get used to just life in general these things become a lot easier and as they discuss in MBTI the feelings function does come in with age and experience and uh, the willingness to explore that. So that's that's great, uh, I found for myself. But uh, <clears throat> I did have a difficult time trying to make sense of this, so I do get it. Um, and I want to say that I do have all the answers, and uh, <laughs> um, I, but I, I don't. It's, Dating is very difficult for an INTJ female, I find. Um, we could talk for hours on those. Uh, but I did find most of my relationships I kind of just stumbled on. I'm wondering if other INTJ females were in similar situations. Um, and uh, so, but what I did like is that after all of that, it helped with um, understanding what I bring to the table and how I want those initial meetings to go as opposed to allowing what social convention tells you you need to do in order to play the right game and you know navigate that way and uh, what helped me with that through those negative pieces is kind of stripped away the bruise of the ego um, that is protecting the feelings that are inside and that allowed me to open up my experience uh, and not care anymore and what I found and I know everyone says not caring um, yeah just not care but we're, it's very difficult like for an INTJ female or male maybe that that not caring comes from a ton of analysis and understanding and scenarios and all of those things, the experiential piece that comes into making us uh, who we are. So the not caring came from that stack of good and bad that came through life. Um, but it allowed me to have an enriched relationship once I found one and um, was interested in pursuing it because I got out of my own way and was able to um, decide what I wanted out of the relationship, not try to, you know, fit into uh, some sort of description that other people feel that I should be doing. So anyways, uh, hope that one uh, helps and uh, look forward to comments as always and video requests, especially if there's more specific ones on dating that people are interested in because it does seem to be something that is um, of interest to the viewers. So thanks again and hopefully we'll be posting uh, another one shortly.